Hey, Brick Blogateers, Will here, and today we're going to be looking at set 42080, the Lego Technic Forest Machine. Now, I'm afraid of Technic, so this was a big leap for me. Asked it for the holidays, got it, and ooh, it took a lot to put it together. There are uh, some accessories that come with it, including these two uh, tree tops. Uh, when they get cut, they can split in the middle to make it look like you're actually deforesting them. Tops have already been cleaned off, so don't have to worry about that part. Uh, you also get a little, like a sawhorse type thing that has a little log that goes on top of that because it also comes with a little chainsaw. So you can play around with that. No minifigure or Technic thing, Technic figure that they came out years ago with. So this is all to its own scale. Now moving on to the machine itself. This thing is a bit intimidating. So there's two parts to it. There's the front cab section and then the back motor power section that powers the whole thing. This whole front portion swivels, so you got a lot of range of movement. The nice thing I like for the back here is the fact that there's a locking mechanism. So right now, if it's like that, it's a little bit locked, but if you push this thing, it does move forward. And <laughs> as you saw, if you're forceful enough, it can make it unlock itself. But that's where you get the battery pack on top, a motor that's underneath it, uh, and then here's your pump that feeds into the rest of the thing. Now this does work like a bike pump, so underneath is a essentially a handle that gets moved when this thing turns around, which you can't actually see down below, but that's what will provide the positive air pressure that moves into the rest of the machine. Now if we close that up, and turn it on. One interesting thing I found is they built it so that there's only one way to turn this on. Because normally uh, this battery pack has a two-way switch. Well, they've cut that off by putting some strategic build in here. So it can only be turned off and on. You can't actually push it the other way to turn it so that the motor goes the other way. Now, one thing I didn't un realize is when it came to pneumatics, it actually takes a little bit of time to build up some air pressure. Now for the big thing, since there's a little bit more surface area in each of these pistons, they actually respond a little bit more quickly. So if I turn the valve, it pressurizes. And of course the other way, it depressurizes. So now the other interesting thing is up here, right in the front, these open and close. However, you have to feed some air into both sides before, see, they start working. So there is a little bit of a time delay. So you got the two valves. This side controls uh, the little clamp type thing in the front. This one controls, of course, the big boom arm. Then up here in the front, you have a, another valve that kind of does a locking mechanism that can control the angle of it, which the uh, big saw blade and these are angled. And it doesn't matter which way they're angled, as long as there's pressure in the system. Another control is right up here at the top. So pretty much everywhere you see a gear is where you can control something. Let me move that down. This operates these front wheels, so you can see them turn based on whichever way. And that actually makes it really easy. Since this whole front thing swivels, you don't want to really control it from here, since you'll just make a mess of it. So you can actually control it from back here and steer it in the direction you want to go. Otherwise, they did a nice job of covering up a lot of the Technic with these panels back here. Uh, even the back doesn't look too bad, so it's kind of actually stops looking like a Technic set for uh, 
a good portion of it. However, you definitely can see a lot of the mechanisms. The tires are kind of interesting because they're all suspended, so they have a very nice range when it comes to uh, a, some certain types of shocks. So this is a definite all-terrain vehicle. It can get up there in the weird spots in the forest. Lots of cool <laughs> mechanisms. It was a chore to put together because I'm a system guy. This is a Technic set and it felt very strange putting it all together. However, it also felt very satisfying once I got everything uh, together. And you do get a little bit of system in the cockpit. There is a little uh, thermos you build, a coffee mug that's way back in here. Uh, there's even on the opposite side, a little toolbox. So they do throw in a few system stuff uh, so that you're not completely alienated. And of course, you also have uh, some tools. Uh, there is the, um, the ax, and then on the other side is a shovel. And uh, you even got a chain up, tucked away in here so you can grab your logs and carry them away. Overall, this thing is going out of print. It's still... Uh, available, uh, but only for a short time. It is retiring soon. It is $150, so it is on the heavier price point. Uh, the reason why I got it was because of the pneumatics, and it was Technic, so it was like two challenges in one. It's worth it. It's, it's super specific when it comes to the pneumatics, so I can't really say it's great for taking and mocking something out. Uh, however, if you are a Technic person, chances are you won't have that problem. I do recommend trying a Technic set for yourself out. You might not want to start with something this challenging, but hey, it's out there if you're interested. Again, set number 42080, the Technic Forest Machine.